improving your credit score. This is Ken Boyd. So your FICO credit score is a critically important number because it impacts your ability to borrow and the interest rate you're charged on debt. And if you don't understand how your credit history is scored, it can damage your credit rating. And importantly, the rules used to calculate your credit score changed in 2009, and they can have a big impact on your finances. And this discussion explains how to raise your credit score. So first of all, what's in it? MyFigo.com is a great website that explains how credit score is computed. And FICO, which we mentioned above, stands for Fair Isaac Corporation. It's just an industry term. Most large lenders make credit decisions based in part on the borrower's FICO score. And the calculation is driven by information provided by credit reporting agencies. So it's important that you understand how these agencies work. So how do you improve your credit score results? Well, there are some items that can hurt your credit rating, like obviously late payments, less obviously too many forms of credit open at once like multiple credit cards and finally apply for credit too often you'll hear on a lot of ads whether or not applying for a certain credit card or loan will be reported to credit agencies so keep these factors in mind as you make spending decisions because a poor credit history will make it more expensive to borrow money use this information to change how you spend and improve your credit score so what changed in 2019? Well, the Wall Street Journal explained that changes were made to boost loan approvals. The new score, the new scoring system, is FICO's latest answer to lenders who after years of mostly cautious lending are seeking for ways to boost loan approvals. So we want people to have more access to credit. And we use this with an ultra FICO score, which is a score designed to boost the number of approvals for credit cards, personal loans, and other debt. Taking into account the borrower's history of cash transactions, which could likely indicate whether or not they're willing to repay because the old system ignored a lot of the impact of cash transactions. What if you use a lot of cash and don't use credit? That shouldn't necessarily be punish your score. And there's an appeals process. Think of the new score as an appeals process for your credit. If your FICO score falls short, a lender can offer to have the score recalculated to reflect banking activity, again, cash transactions. Would-be borrowers with at least several hundred dollars in their account who have had an account for a while and who use trans and who transact with the account frequently and don't, over don't overdraw it are likely to see their credit scores rise. So this takes into account people who are using a lot of cash for transactions and not credit. There are some credit myths at my FICO blog that I also recommend again, points out some of these myths. Myths, well, medical debt. Keep in mind that medical debt will impact your FICO score just like any other debt. And medical debt, unfortunately, is a common thing. Level of indebtedness. The blog points out that you don't need to have a large amount of debt to build credit, just a reasonable amount of debt. This next one's really important. There is a requirement to report credit activity, but there is no law that requires banks, credit card companies, and the lenders to report credit activity to the credit reporting agencies. The only thing that's required is that the data is accurate. So if you have positive credit data, like paying off the debt, you can request that the lender report the activity to credit bureaus. A lot of your positive information may not be reported, and that's an important thing to know. Not borrowing will keep my score high. You need to borrow money responsible to pay it back to build a credit history, creating a personal monthly budget for yourself that includes loan payments will help you do that. FICO needs data from a credit bureau to generate a FICO score. So if there's no data, if there's no credit activity, it's hard to create a score. For a score to be calculated, you need at least one account open for six months or longer. At least one account needs to be reported to a credit bureau within the last six months. If you borrow money and pay it back repeatedly, you'll build a solid credit history. Information submitted by credit bureaus is not always accurate. It may be incorrect or incomplete. 
here are the three credit reporting agencies and you can reach out to these people and verify that the information they have is correct. They are obligated to have correct information. So call the reporting agency and check their website to find out how to make corrections. And if the reporting agency's resistance, call a consumer credit firm that can help you get the matter resolved. Because the bottom line here is that you can improve your credit score using the tips above. And for more information on accounting and finance, you can go to join the online group conference.